Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Well, I thought I'd better do a little bit of an update on the Bedford uh, gun tractor. Uh, as you can see, I've just built the chassis, which uh, I'm going to give it a couple of coats of primer, it's had one already, but uh, I should give it a couple of coats of primer then see if there's anything outstanding and do any filling. Uh, building the kit, it was, well building this part of it, it was really it was nice, it's my type of kit, very very small pieces, get in there. Uh, as you can see, very, very, lots of little pieces. Uh, had a couple of little mishaps. I picked up a pair of uh, old sprue cutters, which I was using for wire, and uh, started to cut some of the uh, parts off the sprues, and uh, it took big chunks out of it. But it was resolved. And a uh, bit of advice if you're building one of these, don't use uh, old sprue cutters. Uh, the kit itself, I really do like it. The plastic is, I know this is going to sound stupid, it's soft plastic, but it's very hard, uh, especially when you come to clean up. I, I had to use my diamond files on it. Uh, the sanding sticks would sand the bits down but not that well so so far uh, I really haven't got a problem with uh, these kits these uh, IBG kits I think they're very sort of very similar to uh, mini art and I am like I say I am enjoying building these so there will probably be quite a few more on the on the table I think uh, the wheels they've come out quite good still a few little areas but if I can get that close but you I mean they've even managed to get the logo I don't know if we can see that because I'm looking at the monitor and the monitor's down the other end of my uh, little hobby shed and uh, when I've got the glasses on I can't see the monitor that well so you'll have to excuse anything but they've even got the Avon logo on the, on the wheel so I'm quite impressed with the detail and everything on this so that's my little update. I'm just going to uh, spray this. Uh, I'm going to do some weathering on it. I know you're not going to see it because all the top cover is it, but I'm going to weather it because I want to. <laughs> and I'm going to. And even though you can't see it, I know, I know it's there. So. I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to do weathering. I might even be putting some little cables in uh, for the spark plugs. Don't know yet. Uh, indecisive. Can't make my mind up. But I sh this will probably it will probably grow a little bit more before it's actually finished. So anyway, that's my little update on this so far. Uh, the cab and the back half of it, I started started it, but I'm nowhere near uh, finishing that. And I should do an update on that in a few days' time. But I like this kit really. For the simple reason is it's I like doing it in the unit, so it's nice to be able to do this as a complete unit. Do all what you want to it, paint it we can put the wheels on it and it's a finished unit and you can put that to one side 
and it, it, the cab and the back half they're exactly the same and then you can just marry them all up so I do I do like this I'll probably be flying the flag for this company if they're all all the uh, if all their kits are the same and well we'll we'll find out because uh, I had to finish my budget off that I'm allowed per month for last month and uh, so I've ordered a few more <laughs> uh, I don't know I'm gonna get myself into trouble somewhere along the line here but anyway that's uh, a little update on that and uh, I'll post another one of them when I finish the cabs and everything else okay thank you very much Let's begin.